right, all right. There will be silence when I speak. I put the whole damn thing together. And I'll shut it down if I don't get enough attention. So shut those fuckers up in the back. I got some shit. I did some fucking investigative journalism for this goddamn roast. I'm taking you all down. You're all going down. It's what I found out. You know, David Lewis is starting a magazine just for the Wineland Park area. It's called 911. I was recently reading the fashion section of 614 Magazine. Turns out, shitty fucking suits from Goodwill, back in season again. Autumn, winter, spring, summer, autumn, winter, spring again. Always in style, apparently. But this is not just a roast of David Lewis. This is a public indictment of journalism in Columbus in general. The Columbus Alive, a reputable establishment, now that I've appeared in it. But the dispatch is shitty. Until I'm in there. Now then there's You Weekly. So to the sister publication. 614 Magazine. Now I have appeared in You Weekly. And the Fashion Police. My first article, in fact. They caught me coming shirtless out of Bernie's. <laughs> and the whole, it was brilliant. They pretty much said, oh, I don't ever want to see you shirtless. And I was like, oh, wow. Okay. Neither do I. Thanks. But it pissed me off. So now I decided I got to get a tattoo. It says, you use too many semicolons. <laughs> comma, bitch. Yeah, I'm sure. That was two years ago, Kate Liebers. Yeah, bullshit. Now on to 614 Magazine. I know homeless people who won't sleep under a pile of 614 Magazine. That's how bad it is. True. My grandmother's gouty legs have better circulation than 614 Magazine. Okay. Actually, I gotta tell you, my grandmother was offended by that joke. Because her legs have exuberantly more circulation. 614 Magazine, the first known cause of self-induced dyslexia. <laughs> that is a magazine that is less engaging than John Kerry reading the Mahabharata in Esperanto. No one on the 614 staff got that joke. Now just so you know, the 614 Magazine, it is not named after the area code of Columbus, in fact. It is named after the year that the Persian Empire ransacked and invaded Jerusalem. I know this because I looked it up on Wikipedia. The same place 614 goes for all their investigative journalism. One down, three to go. Two, two, two to go, two to go. I'm gonna get ahead of myself. Let's meet the staff, staff of 614 Magazine. Travis Haywisher. A man who has never had a good hair day, bald day, or sex life. You know, David Lewis is the good journalism what Travis Haywisher is to Doritos. Both big fans, but damned if they know how to make them. That's true, but his 500 pound ass wouldn't come out in the storm to get laughed at. So guess, you know, yeah. You're the fattest, I'm the gayest. Bring it down, brother. Kate Liebers. Do you know how to roofie Kate Liebers? Buy her a drink.
Mark Lucas, the inspiration for some of David's greatest articles. For example, when comedians should give up. That was in the April issue. In May. I get the fucking joke already. And of course, who could forget March? Mark Lucas. Pedophile. Sumak Torgalkar. Now you know it's interesting because normally when I hear Indian people speak, it sounds hilarious. <laughs> Commissioner Miles Curtis, local politician. Thank God he hasn't been exposed. Because that would make me throw up. Because I mean I'm talking about him being naked. By exposure. You want to take it off, Miles? Will you take it off? Have any more money to get Miles to take his shirt off? You got what? What do you got there? A ten? I can change a ten. the most money the Peach District has ever made. <laughs> Miles, $24 and a Burger King coupon says you're going to take your shirt off. <laughs> because you're for the taking. Miles, Miles, I have never known you to be a wealthy man, and I've never known you to have much pride either. So, you know, yeah. What Miles Curtis lacks in talent. Everyone, we will ransack him and take that money later. Don't worry. I'm not going to get arrested for a bribe, am I? For a to a commissioner? Laura Sanders. When Upton Sinclair wrote The Jungle in 1906, he, of course, was referring to the horrors of the Chicago meatpacking industry. When David used, uses the term, he is, of course, referring to the horror known as the interweaving serpentine bramble of impregnable pubis that shields Laura's vagina. Or as I call it, the heart of darkness. Or as Mark Lucas calls it, Rosebud. <laughs> All right, on to the man of the hour. David Lewis looks like J. Jonah Jameson and a rapist. Uh -oh. David Lewis looks like a rapist. <laughs> David Lewis, huge rapist. <laughs> Jack Barrett, ladies and gentlemen.